wonder if he knows this is the last round, Simon. And suddenly Jamil is picking up the pace, he's picking Campbell up. Campbell struggling in the corner, and the crowd in the corner willing him to get out of it, but he's taking some duck once more. The doctor must stop this. The doctor must stop this. I'll be very, very surprised if it's over. Yep, yeah, it's over. Matapos makapagtala ni Eric Hamili ng limang magkakasunod na panalo at makuha ang WBO Intercontinental Minimum Weight Title ay nabigyan siya ng pagkakataon na mapalaban sa isang world title fight kontra sa British boxer na si Mikey Cantwell para sa bakanteng WBO Minimum Weight Title Noong panahong yon, si Hamili ay dalawang taon pa lamang bilang professional boxer at unang pagkakataon din na mapalaban sa labas ng ating bansa Bago ang kanilang laban, ang ating kababayan ay may record na 10 wins, 5 dito ay nanalo via knockouts, may 5 talo at 1 draw, may edad lamang na 20 years old. Habang ang British boxer naman ay may record na 13 wins, 2 dito ay nanalo via knockouts, may 4 na talo at 1 draw, may edad na 33 years old. Atin pong balikan ang kanilang naging bakbakan. Well, from Elton Kent, Jamili from Paranaki in the Philippines. Oh, I wonder if he can't own you that. We shall see. Catwell not known for his fifth. Really tall opponent he has too. This could do already. He's oh, a tall southpaw. And a southpaw who is looking to throw heavy shots. Very at home in there, the little Filipino, doesn't he? He sure does. He goes back against. Coach Bowden on that the first round. They're famous for the, the amount of weight they can drag off the fighter. So you wonder what this fellow walked in with. Uh, competent, doesn't he? Can't just trying to measure the South Pole jazz that's always come straight as he really comes into a hoop. Yeah, well, looking to pressure. This is good work from Jamili. The more solid, the more quality punches have come from the visitor so far. And here he looks like a looking kid, this one. He's been lying his record of 8 wins, 5 losses and a draw. He's making a spectacular start here against Campbell. Round 1 pa lamang ay may malaking cut na sa ilong ang British boxer. Sanhi ng malakas na kanan na tumama mula sa Pinoy. Siding blow. Then she just alarms you a little bit. Very pretty at all. Look at it and it would be smile. Yeah, it just gives you confidence straight in. So uh, he certainly doesn't do it as much as though he wants to impose himself early now, uh, make up for that, so just don't be careless. You don't want to start training with a fellow before he, he was fairly impressive. The Philippines. It's amazing, I remember more than 20. You know, he doesn't, he, he doesn't play around at all, all meaningful shots that he throws. Looks as though he punches harder than Cantwell, so you, you, you'd like to see Mickey. Campbell's fainting to him now, trying to draw the leads and leave them out of range. Swings from Campbell, but they were landing on the gloves. Jamili's left eye, I don't know if it's just a... Jamili's left, it's like I can see the red, it may be Campbell. There's a lot of pressing in this round. No, I don't think there is a cut. So it's, it's just maybe some blood that's came. It's come from Campbell. Seriously damaged too. Yes. That wasn't Mickey's normal style there. He forced all the way through that round but made quite a few mistakes. He took quite a few counters. And uh, for me, Jamili, the, the quality of his punches was... Who obviously helped you a lot in your career. So in every way, statistically, emotion from here. Can't pass forward. Still getting picked. Doing anything reckless. He's a controlled little boxer. But uh, obviously feels the injury. Beats so much to him, of course. He recognised this may be his last chance. There's a good shot. Good right hand there. I mean, the way it can't ring before the bell had finished sounding. Dropped here. The shouting for so Jamil has good balance. Good shot over the top. Campbell rocked a bit. Jamil thinks that... Uh... Panayang punteria pa rin ang ating kababayan sa ulo ng British boxer na habang tumatagal ay mas lumalala ang putok sa ilong nito. It's not his normal style and I wonder if his corner haven't told him he's going to have to do something drastic here. He's actually through the blood, Campbell. 
Files to show it. Street. From the previous round, if, for the first half of the... I mean, that is a bad injury. He was just taking his time, just throwing punches when he played. Oh, he's got so much composure. Yeah, and that, that's the thing. See, we forget the tough school that they run over by because he's lost five. He's trying to force this fellow into making some mistakes now. Well, There's a bit of real pressure that he's been able to put on. Well, there, Jamili's work. He hasn't allowed Jamili to get to get one pop. Unknown uh, quantity can produce. The Campbell box more of his own stuff. The opens up. Pressure, but again, it's stepped. Jabini comes back with more of his own. The uppercut's a difficult one to block from the north. Oh, Mickey wants this. Gampion. Well, this Campbell landed the better of those two shots. He can't. On him now. He's not making quite so many mistakes. A little bit more control. Good buster punching from Jamila. He really is two years old. He's so cool. Okay, forcing and kind of puffing a little bit. Tape around the gloves of Jamila tells its own story. It's a dark shade of pink. Back at him. He just likes to work at his own pace. He can't force him into making mistakes. Giving absolutely everything, Campbell. But look at the fight back here from Jamila. Fellow's there. This fellow's so cool. For a 20 year old, amazingly cool. You can see he has to think every move, they can't afford any more punches. Yes, he looks flustered for the first time. Now then, he'll be right as he came in. This is the better round for Cantor so far. So he better just get it in his mind that. With a much more confident look. You would have expected Jamili's corner to tell him to raise the. Both oh, doing a fair bit of missing here. But not then. Nabilangan nga po ang ating kababayan, pero hindi naman gloves ang tumama at may halong tulak, kaya na out of balance si Jamili. Cost little Jamili around and done big things for Mickey Campbell. That, that one little incident gets Mickey Campbell right back into the driving seat. Here. And the uh, fans at the back who weren't really as, and he swung him round. Good news for little Mickey, I suppose. But the way things are going, it's, it's looking like a 10 8 round for, for Mickey Campbell. Well, Jamili, Jamili's work has the, the same quality about it in the last couple of rounds as it did have in the first three rounds. So if Mickey Campbell can just stick with what he's doing and just gonna grit his way away here to victory. Gritting his teeth here, all right. But he got caught coming in. Jamili knows that this is a pretty important stage here. Campbell getting real success. Campbell's digging some good punches in here. And a good round for Campbell. And with the knockdown, although we don't agree with it, we have to score it. The referee's the, the man, he decides. So that's the round that really turns it around. Key moment of the fight. Now, watch this. I mean, that was a, an arm round the neck. The, the, the glove did not land in target. The, the wrist landed on his neck and knocked him off balance. Here it goes. No way. In your wildest dreams without a punch. Threw him off balance. And the referees uh, deemed that a knockdown. Good news for Cantwell, really, but... Uh, there's, a, there's a key scene. Last round. Well, at the end of every round, to look at that cut, it hasn't hassled the corner. But uh, the, the doctor up there, that obviously could be bad news. For Cantwell, his uh, card at the moment. Certainly psychologically, he has the advantage, Ben Cantwell, from winning this world title. We wonder if he's been told this is the last round, because once again, he's been careless, nearly walking towards that South Lodge Avenue. I wonder if he knows this is the last round, Simon. And 
Suddenly, Jamili's picking up the pace. He's picking Campbell off. Campbell's struggling in the corner. And the crowd in the corner willing him to get out of it, but he's taking so sloppy and, and goes looking to, to do damage, aggressive, uh, sloppy stuff, and he's running into trouble. And the uh, punches to the landing of Jamili are making the cut that much worse. I can't believe if it was... At dahil sa nagiging malala na ang potok sa ilong ng British boxer, ay inihinto muna ng referee ang laban para mapatignan ito sa ring doktor. At tuluyan na nga pong itinigil ang laban, panalo si Eric Hamili via TKO sa round 8 at naging kauna-unahang Pinoy na naging WBO World Champion. Eric Hamili! Early in his career, at one stage he lost his house, then he gets into the world from the Philippines. And yet again, as Barry McGuigan pointed out, before we started tonight. Hanggang dito na lang po muna tayo mga idol. Maraming salamat po.